Well, uh, Gong Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve forms. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying mantis. This is a crane form. Let's start off. Hey! They have the tiger that start like a tiger. Using claw to claw the face or the beak of the crane to the eyes move. This is some of the movement in the A good fight should be like a small play, but played seriously. A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. People always say they want to achieve their dreams, but a lot of people just sit there and say that. Very few people decide to put in the work and actually chase their goals, chase their dreams, try to truly become as happy as they possibly can. A lot of people know that it's going to be hard and it's going to be challenging for them, but they just don't want to be excited to do that. They are too lazy to even try to attempt going for their dreams and goals. They don't know how rewarding it will feel in the very end because they didn't even give an effort. They just said, oh, that would be nice to do something. And that's it. They didn't even try try. They didn't put in an effort and that's a big problem. If you have a dream or a goal, you should try working on it as soon as you possibly can. Don't say I'll start it next week or I'll do it tomorrow. You should start it right now. Do whatever you can at the very moment to get started because that's one of the hardest things you can possibly do in any project in your life is get started. Once you start, then it rolls smoothly. But trying to start something is incredibly challenging because that means you have to take time away from doing whatever you thought you were doing and put it towards this just for a little bit and get started. But once you're started, it's going to flow significantly smoother and then you're going to be excited and you're going to be wanting to constantly achieve these dreams. I mean, I might, it, it might sound too philosophical, but it's an acting, acting or acting, unacting. If you so what I'm saying actually you see I mean it's a combination of both I mean here it is the natural instinct and here is control you are to combine the two in harmony not if you have one to the extreme you will be very unscientific if you have another to the extreme you become all of a sudden a mechanical man no longer a human being so you it is a successful combination of both so therefore it is not only I mean so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnatural the ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. If you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know? I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. Hand-wise, it's very slow. Oh, is it? And you push it out, but all the time, you are keeping the continuity going. Bending, stretching, everything. You know, suppose, you know, I mean, you, you just keep it moving. I mean, to, to them, you see, the idea is running water never grows stale. So you gotta just keep on flowing. To me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, now, that, my friend, is very hard to do and you have to train you have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it it's there when you want to move you're moving and when you move you are determined to move not taking one inch not anything less than that if i want to punch i'm gonna do it man and i'm gonna do it you see so i mean so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it to become one with the you think your mind be formless shapeless like water now you put water into a cup it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Well, Kung Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Why? Because uh, water is the softest substance in the world, but yet it can penetrate the hardest rock or anything, granite, you name it. 
Water also is insubstantial. By that I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So every Kung Fu man is trying to do that. To be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. Well, in the Chinese opera, they have the warrior and then the scholar. The way the, war the warrior walk will be something like this. Walking this way, straight, come out, bend, and then walk out again. An ordinary scholar would be just like a female, a weakling, 90 pounds in child ever. You'll be just walking, you know, like a girl, real, shoulder up and everything. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section down below.